I'm just trying and learning along the way. And that's what this is all about for me. But, um, you know, I don't want this to be my entire life either. So... library this morning and so today I just want to do a super quick uh, YouTube related video as it relates to things that I want to do differently now that I have um, six ish seven weeks on YouTube and um, just to give you a quick snapshot so as of right now I have, I think, 84 subscribers, 84, 86, something like that. Anyway, um, started six weeks ago with like six subscribers or something, um, you know, just friends and family kind of thing. And so I've grown my channel a little bit. It's been kind of exciting. Most of those have come in the last week. Um, I have, oh, I'm going to totally butcher the, the, the stats so I will just put them on the screen here in editing but um, what I have what I have decided is that there are some process things that I want to do differently now that I have some learning under my belt um, I want to first of all one of the things that I learned is about efficiencies and uh, batching activities such as batching activities like brainstorming for ideas, like shooting video, possibly batching some editing processes in the, ooh, I'm going to lose my phone here, <laughs> batching, batching <laughs> editing processes, um, all kinds of, of different pieces of the puzzle that you go through with each video and trying to do more than one video at once and batching these activities for efficiencies. Now you might think, you're retired, why do you need efficiencies? And you know what, I really don't necessarily, but um, you know, I don't want this to be my entire life either. So I'm just, oh my God, my hair's a disaster. Anyway, um, but I don't want this to be my entire life either. So I want to make room for other things in my life. And um, so, I'm going to be batching things. The other, the next thing I'm going to do differently is making time for, and when I mean making time, I mean scheduling time on my calendar as if this were a business and putting time on the calendar for learning, for practicing, and for planning instead of just randomly scrolling through different videos to watch to learn different things at various times throughout the week is to make it more purposeful and um, some guy just almost ran me over on his way to church here anyway um is to make it more purposeful so uh, maybe spending some time looking for videos that explain how to do specific things that I've run across that I don't know how to do or that I'm interested in that I want to do. Favoriting them or putting them to my watch later list and, um, and then sitting down for a couple of hours at a time watching these videos, taking notes, and so that I can go back and reference the things that I want to do later when they come up. So the learning process, the practicing process, so maybe attached to the learning process is also taking some of these things that I want to do and actually pretending like I'm doing them and doing them, using them for, you know, personal projects. Um, I'm in the process of editing some old family videos that I had digitized and um, using the things that I'm learning in that to practice. Um, the other piece of that puzzle is the planning process um, and maybe this comes from all of my years of you know being a career person and having a very tight schedule but I I love planning I love putting things on calendars and and 
all that comes with planning. So I use Notion as my planner. There's no uh, no affiliate here, no paid promotion here. That's just the tool that I use. Their free version is spectacular. I highly recommend it for planning. Um, there's a bit of a learning curve on that, uh, on learning how to use Notion, but um, super cool tool. So putting time on the calendar for learning, practicing, and planning. And then the other more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, ambitious piece is that I think I what I need to do differently is maybe creating two, um, two videos a week. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, honestly. I see the benefit of it and I want to do it, but it's gonna have to be not so intensive as the first video that I do each week because um, it's just right now it's just too much. So I will be trying to do that, um, I think, and we'll see how that affects my channel growth. That's really what I want to do it for, and to accelerate my practicing and my learning. They say that the first hunt, they say, Mr. Beast says that the first hundred videos that you make are going to be crap. So you kind of want to get those first hundred videos out of the way ASAP so you can grow your channel. Anyway, I'm going to test that theory. I'm going to, um, just pulling up to the library here. I'm going to test that theory and, and I'm going to try to accelerate, accelerate my growth by doing more than one video a week. Now, it may be that um, that I do a second video per week occasionally, um, maybe not every week. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I'm, I'm contemplating that idea. So those are, in a nutshell, the changes that I'm going to be making um, going forward and testing them out. And maybe in another six weeks, eight weeks or so, I will come back with some updates. Um, I wanted to stay away from the, here's how I monetize my YouTube channel kind of a thing. Um, not because I don't like them. I consume them all. Like, I love those videos. But I just feel like that's not what I want to do with you here. I want to talk more about the process and, and some of the things that maybe other people aren't talking about quite as much. But I'm a small, small YouTube channel, right? Like I don't have a lot of data to pull from, but I, uh, I'm just trying and learning along the way. And that's what this is all about for me. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I, hopefully that was, um, hopefully this is just like a, a quick little video. I'm about to go into the library, so I might just take you along with me for a little bit. Come on. Highly recommend, by the way. It's raining. Yeah, there's kids in the library, so I'm not going to record in the library. Okay. Book returned. I do want to say one more thing. One more thing. Especially to all of you who have been here before and who are so are returning to my channel. I just want to say a special thank you for coming back and I hope you enjoy taking this journey with me. I will make it as entertaining and informative and um, interesting as possible. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I really appreciate you being here. That was a super quick summary of the things that I want to do differently. I didn't want to spend too much time going blah, 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 blah. So quick and dirty, there it is. And I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible in my next video.